Welcome back to Orange Hat Reviews, everyone, and we're going to be discussing the Mary Sue again. You can tell my voice is dripping with disdain from this wet rag. Anywho, they basically just did a stupid article. Basically going on, uh, exploring the relationship or possible gay undertones of Professor X and Magneto in the Dark Phoenix movie and whatnot. My statement is basically, why does everything have to be gay with you guys? Why does every relationship have to be homosexual? They have a relationship that is based on a deep understanding and friendship. Believe it or not, those kind of things do exist. And believe it or not, they often can be a very deep relationship that doesn't involve a sexual one. So, that being said, Eric... Lencher and Charles Xavier. Let's give a little backstory on both of them when they first met each other. Basically, they met each other, they realized that mutants were being persecuted, and they started the school for the gifted youngsters and whatnot. And because Magneto wanted to do something different. He wanted them to not just, or he felt they were superior to humanity. So he left. He started his own brotherhood of mutants. And they've been apart ever since. But they still respect each other. Now, Magneto often goes the extreme route, given his um, treatment from Auschwitz in the 40s so he's going to be less forgiving to humans where Charles thinks that mutants and humans can coexist now I honestly look at these movies I do not see any sexual attraction between Charles Xavier and Eric Lencher James McAvoy, and Michael Fassbender, respectively. There is none. And the fact that they're saying, or that a producer is saying that there could be one, that producer doesn't know shit. Unless they're changing up 60 years of, um, pretty much canonized in the comics relationships and whatnot, Charles Xavier is very heterosexual. Hello, first class, he was kind of into that, or er, into Moira McTaggart. In Apocalypse, he was still into Moira McTaggart. Yes, she has a kid and all in Apocalypse, so she can't really pursue that relationship with him, but they still stay as acquaintances. Frickin' Magneto! He had a kid and a family. So how? I mean, I'm sorry. I just don't see how a sexual relationship between Charles Xavier and Magneto is there. Because it isn't. Magneto doesn't have time for that crap. He doesn't have time for the... Neither does Charles Xavier, really. And no offense to anybody who is in a wheelchair, I think he'd have a hard time getting it up. Especially if he's paralyzed from the waist down. So yeah. The Mary Sue is they have to they have to look for something to complain about and they always find something to complain about. I mean yes, they do some good articles here and there. Rarely I should say. But, oh my gosh, man. 
the fact that they have to make everything in Hollywood gay this, gay that, woman this, woman that. And the Mary Sue is basically their lost, or is Hollywood's basic bitch. Because Hollywood's going to do things, and the Mary Sue is going to be there to either complain or to shill. So yeah, that's the video, guys. Basically, the Mary Sue is a tabloid that is so crappy. Oh my god, I just can't stand it. I'm not angry at it. I just find it hilarious and annoying at the same time. But it's not even annoying to the fact where I want them shut down because that's just stupid. It's never going to happen. They're allowed to say whatever they want. But I am going to call them out on their inaccuracies. I did that with their Alita article. But yeah, that's the video. So if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, comment, share, all that jazz. This has been Orange Hat Reviews, and you all have a good day.